production of sustainable polybutylene succinate PBS, from biosuccinic acid utilizing oil palm frond, as carbon source. Palm oil production is vital for the economy of Malaysia, which is the world's second largest producer of the commodity after Indonesia. Being the second largest oil palm producer, Malaysia generates about 80 million tons of solid waste annually. 60% of the solid biomass consists of oil palm frond OPF, and remaining includes the empty fruit brunch, oil palm drunk, oil palm kernel shell and mesocarp fiber. What can we do with this OPF? OPF have high amount of sugar. It can be utilized as cheapest potential carbon source for fermentation industry. This includes production of acid and alcohol in biological path that may replace the petrochemical process in the future. The generated bioacid and bioalcohol can be used to produce bioplastic. The current related problems that faced are improper utilization of OPF, environmental pollution caused by petrochemical industries and high usage of non-biodegradable plastic. The main objectives are Number 1. To synthesize biosuccinic acid from oil palm frond as a green material source. 2. To utilize the synthesized biosuccinic acid as monomer for production of polybutylene succinate PBS. Number 3. To further process the bio-based PBS into food packaging such as cups and plates. And lastly, is to reutilize used PBS-based food packaging as fertilizer for commodity crops. The uniqueness of this project, is demonstrated in this eco-friendly cycle. First, the OPF is generated during harvesting of the fruit bunches in oil palm plantation. After certain pretreatments, the OPF undergoes fermentation, thus producing succinic acid. The biosuccinic acid, is then react with 1,4-butane diol to produce polybutylene succinate, the bioplastic. The PBS further manufactured as cups and plates, as the end products to the consumers. After usage it turns, as bio-waste and sent to composting centers. At the end, the bio-waste return to earth, as fertilizer to any agricultural industries. The impacts of the innovation are First, waste to well, where the low-cost OPF utilized to produce value-added product that is succinic acid. Secondly, greener succinic acid production path. Thirdly, the bio-based PBS products have good properties and high potential to be commercialized. Lastly, generates eco-friendly cycle that benefits the human being and environment. As conclusion, the inexpensive and readily available organic waste in the form of OPF can serve as an efficient substrate for successful realization of a bio-based economy. This innovative project has the potential to reduce the impact on our resources, reduce our carbon intensity, and decrease the growing piles of waste materials. And lastly, a sustainable, and circular approach to consumption can be achieved in the palm oil industry. Thank you, for watching.